Welcome back everyone, I'm Robbie. I'm Mike. I'm Jeremy. And I'm John. And this is technically part two of our Avengers review. We're diving straight into spoilers for this one, so that is a spoiler warning. If you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War, um, stay away from this review because we're going into everything in the film that we want to talk about. Um, and we can actually speak this time. We can actually, yeah, it won't be just random mumblings. Here we go. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Okay, literally the first 10 to 15 minutes, we see Thanos, um, Pretty much taking off from the end of, of Thor Ragnarok, uh, his ship attacking the uh, the ship that has literally the entire population of Asgard on it, um, and you you don't even see the attack. You literally see the aftermath. Mm. That's pretty much the first scene. Thanos just walking around, or his first the Black Order. I keep saying First Order. Black Order walking around the um, all the dead Asgard mm. Asgardians. Um, Heimdall's pretty much dying on the floor, mm -hmm. uh, Idris Elba, and then. A few moments later, he's dead. Which immediately cuts off the idea, or the popular fan theory, that um, the Soul Stone is with it. Mm -hmm. And then, a few moments later, Loki's still around, Thor's still around, you've pretty much got Thanos interrogating them, and then um, and it's not long before Loki's dead as well. Yeah. And it's pretty gruesome. Quite brutally. Yeah. It is a bit of a gut punch, that bit. Um, mm -hmm. And you can, see, you can sort of see the, you know, how distraught... Thor is after just watching it happen. So, something I need, I need just, it's probably already occurred to you guys, but I only just realized that whole ship got blown up. Thor was your only survivor. Yes, yeah, so and Korg. All, all Korg! Of, well, Korg's yeah. dead. Valkyrie. All of Asgard, so that means Asgard is extinct. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Korg is gone. I Korg. didn't think of that. Korg's gone. They're all gone. But although, I, mean, I mean, he's rock. Did, does, can he survive out in space? I guess he could. He's, he's, he's perishable rock. I mean, Thor, Thor, Asgardians <laughs> can, can no breathe one. in space. So, right. like, Asgardians can breathe in space. So, theoretically, if they escaped, they might still be alive. Mm. Good point. Is Thor the only really super powered one? He's not, is he? Or can the others breathe in space? I don't know. I thought he's just super powered because he's an Asgardian. Well, he's technically. I mean, he's a god of thunder. I mean, or is it because he's the son of Odin? I don't know. So. True. It could only be because he's royal. Wait, anyway. Wait, you just said Asgardians can breathe in space. Is that like a general rule? Well, I don't know. I was just assuming because they're always traveling oh, through space. Yeah, that's true. Mm. But I don't know. Oh, well, we're sidetracking anyway. ourselves. <laughs> Either way, the, the, yeah, that, that scene starts off pretty... It's actually pretty... Like, so the, the Marvel logo is happening and there's no music. It, it's, it's, it's like a distress somber. call yeah. from yeah. the Asgardian yeah, ship. Right. That was cool. I, oh, I love that. Yeah. I As soon as I heard that, I fell straight into it. I was mm. like, this is awesome. Like, this is such a good... And I knew immediately it was the Asgardians calling for help. And I thought, this is absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love this. Um, it, it, like, the lack of music. Mm. Chilling. Because um, the first time ever we've had the Marvel logo with no kind of like fanfare kind of mm -hmm. And the film really intro. just chucks you straight into this first, yeah. first scene too. So, um, And then really, it, it doesn't really have a lot of breathing room. The film like, like just jumps from scene to scene and chokes you. Yeah. And nearly every yeah. scene there, there is an action sequence. A lot of the time. Mm. The only bit in the movie where it actually lets us breathe for a little bit is like right at the start before um, uh, Bruce Banner approaches Tony Stark. At the, yeah. And mm. that, just that yeah. brief moment there yes. when they're walking apart. Yeah. That's like, like that, but that, even that, then, that's, that's kind of like when Iron Man's like, yeah, you know, they're like setting a, up their, their, that, their that baby. Is a, that, that is, that is a layer What's yeah. this leading to? Yeah, yeah that's exactly right. Um, also, Thor, uh, sorry, Hulk is on the Asgardian ship as well. And... Um, I yeah. guess he can breathe in space too, because he ends up escaping. As well, well, no, he he, he gets. He well, gets well, Heimdall yeah. saves him. Heimdall yeah. saves him. Yeah. yeah, just before he dies, he uses the Bifrost. Yeah. To uh, to shoot him off into or well, back to Earth, which is where Bruce Banner meets up with Tony Stark again later and on. And Doctor Strange. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then that's pretty much the first sort of crossover interaction we get with everyone is um, is Bruce Banner meeting Doctor Strange, meeting Tony Stark, all, all mixing together. And yeah. then shortly followed by Spider Man. Yeah. 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 That one, one thing we mentioned before, one thing I was a little bit let down was they kind of spoil Spidey's intro in the trailer, like the spider sense thing. Mm -hmm. That's his introduction in the film. I kind of wish they didn't ruin that. That would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Seeing that for the first time on the big yeah. screen. That's because I was seeing the bus because we, you know, 
Australian. And we got Stanley again, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's true. Oh, then, and then the following scene is, um, is pretty much Bruce Banner. This, this is what, okay, this is what confused me. How did Bruce Banner know that Thanos was coming if he was the Hulk? Did they talk? Well, I guess what... Like, I'm not getting like to that. Do, do they... Do, 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 you see them talking? Well, he's... You see... Because Hulk... Oh, he's going to come out. I assume... So are they, are they talking? The way I... Ragnarok, Ragnarok, was he Bruce Banner or Hulk? No, he was... Oh, he was, no. He was, no, he was, no, he was Hulk. He was Hulk. Hulk. The way I see it... The, well, the way I kind of... Or hope it is... Is that, you know, like, when, when he's Hulk... Like, Black Widow can still talk to Bruce. Like, she's like, you, you know, Bruce, I know you're in there. Like, I assume he can still hear, but he's not in control. Is that how you guys Maybe, see? but then in but Ragnarok, when he, he wakes up, up and he's like, where am I? Oh, true, no true, he didn't know, that's right. You're right. Okay, so... So, so did Hulk what, tell him? That's what I mean, like... Well, he must have. I mean, but that's not something that's been discussed about until this movie. Yeah. So, no, so they could have just, I mean, Russo Brothers could have just been like, oh, we'll just, we'll just make it that they can talk to each other. It's like either that. a mistake or a way that Bruce and Hulk are starting to work together. Maybe, mm. yeah. Oh. Either way, Bruce Banner somehow knows that Thanos is coming to Earth to find the rest of the Infinity Stones. Mm. And he warns everyone, and then seconds later... That New York attack was really good. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. That was it's the first cool. time we really see, see Doctor Strange just going at it with his powers. Finally, yeah. That, like, honestly, Doctor Strange was underrated. He is an underrated hero. Like, that was... His performance in this movie was awesome. And I love how, like, he, does, he doesn't have a single line of comedy in this. Yeah. I, there, might, there might be some, like, comedy just the situation but it's not from him mm. he is dead serious the entire time and yeah. you feel like he's got like a really commanding presence in all of his scenes like he is in control mm. well yeah well his, his sole job in this is pretty much just to protect the time stone and exactly. he's serious about it so. yeah um what did we think of Iron Man's powered up suit yeah fine well like, it's just a... it was a bit I found it a bit jarring because I never really like the last time we see him was there any hint that he was hyping up his suit so much? Because there was a definite huge change in technology going from when he went to... It felt almost like he had Wakandan technology. Which I, he, thought, which he I thought he would have a, he would have had a vibranium suit. Yeah, but then he doesn't say that. He says it's, it's nanotechnology. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I mean, I was wrong. Yeah. Um, but I... that's From what I could see in the trailer and the posters, it looked like vibranium. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's cool. So it I even moves the same way that Black Panther's... Yeah, so was. I knew he had... An upgraded suit up. But to me, it just felt like the writers like crap when you do make, find really a way to make Iron Man and Spider Man be able to breathe in outer space. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So, favorite scenes. Captain America's uh, intro. Yeah. yeah. So Vision has the Mind Stone, as we all know, and Thanos wants it. So he sent his children. I don't know all their names. All I know is the Moor, who's the old guy. That's all I know. I don't know who the other two are. The chick and the, the creepy looking long arm dude. Mm. Um, but they pretty much go after Vision and Scarlet Witch is, is there trying to help him. And they pretty much, pretty much kill him. Like they get really close and then all of a sudden Captain America, Black Widow and Falcon come out of nowhere and save him. It is the coolest scene in the movie in my opinion. Like I love the music. I love the like Captain America's intro. You just see his silhouette and then he walks out into the light. It's so good. I loved it. Blocking the spear and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Well, around Captain America, I do feel through the film, so, like, a big deal was made about, like, Cap's return, like, he was, you know, like, he was leading this judge. I never got, I never felt like he was such a commanding presence. No, he played like, like just the he, help. He barely, barely did anything in the film, yeah. and he didn't really have very many lines. I, I, like, usually Captain America has a huge screen presence. Mm. I don't think he did here. I feel like Black Panther, which I guess it makes sense because they're in Wakanda and he is king. But I feel like Black Panther had more command over Captain America. But not even then. I just mean in all of Captain America's scenes, bar his awesome intro, I thought I agree with you there. Um, he doesn't really feel like he... You know, like, towards the end when Thor came back and he felt like this huge, powerful yeah, yeah, yeah. entity. And I was like, wow, okay, now now we feel like everyone's really good. I never felt that with Captain America. Mm, yeah. yeah. It's almost as if he's not Captain America anymore. He's kind of just like a... An outsider rogue kind of yeah, version. Yeah. yeah. Like it almost like yeah, the, only, the only bit that really stood out for Captain America is when Black Panther said get this man a shield yeah. and when he introduces himself to um Groot. To Groot. Yeah. Oh, the only two bits that really kind of yeah. and obviously has the uh, I think it's the last line of the movie as well. Cap. Cap, yeah. Well the last scene is Thanos' face. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's smiling. Alright, so yeah. while we're on that, since we're diving straight into spoilers, what are our thoughts on the ending? 
This is where I'm so mixed okay. On. So the film ends and pretty much the Avengers lose and Thanos wins. Um, Thanos collects all six Infinity Stones, which we weren't expecting. The whole time, like he's not going to get all six because he's going to be too overpowered. And he gets all six, he snaps his fingers, and half of the universe's population die. So, yeah. including including half well, of the characters. Let's, in let's the go through this. So the first one to go is Bucky. Bucky. Yeah. Then it's uh, uh, well, everyone who was there. So Bucky, Rhodey, no, Rhodey's no, not Rhodey. Falcon. Falcon. Falcon I'm Sam. Black Panther. Um, Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, Vision died previously because he yeah, got the he mind gets his head ripped out pretty much. Um, and then the Guardian, everyone up in space, they're going. So Star Lord, Drax, everyone except for Rocket in the Guardian dies. Yep, Spider Man's gone. Oh, that Strange. was the bit that got me. Doctor Strange. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, all of them except for Spider Man, which we'll talk about in a sec, all of them were kind of just like they just disappear. Mm. Spider Man's death was emotional. Yeah, because he sort of like he got scared. Yeah, he runs yeah. over because he's just like a kid. He runs over to Iron Man, gives him a hug. He's like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. And then, oh man, it's cut wrenching. Yeah, it's really. What, what, to me, it looked like his his one took a long time. Is that what, what, what is that was? Like, I think so. We got that emotion. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, sure, right. sure. Um, uh, but however, however, this is my problem with this ending of the film because, I, like, all the weight, like you know, like we were promised the death, and what we got there. So like Loki, Heimdall. Gamora, who Gamora. we haven't spoke about yet, yeah. and Vision. I believe they are all uh, dead. I believe they are all dead because yeah. they died before Thanos won. Yeah. Everybody else are after who just kind of disin- disintegrated away, they're coming back. There, there's there's and, no and the, there's no way all those are like like Strange, Panther, Spider Man, Spider Man. They're yeah. they're all the new character. They, they, there's I mean there's films been, coming out exactly, after that like, we already know. Show. Yeah. So maybe a couple of them will stay dead. Um, but people like that, who are even rumoured to be the new Avengers after this original group disbands, they're, like, the weight of the film, that kind of took me out of it. I was like, uh, well, I mean, this huge emotional ending, where's the weight here? Because we know they're coming back. Mm. It does, yeah, like, it had no weight to it, even though we know they might be coming back. It was, it was pretty lackluster. It was very, it was yeah. As it soon as the film introduces time, time travel, which is used a couple of times during the film by Thanos... It's like, well, now anything can happen. Like, like you know, like, so... It, t- this map, I love time travel involves, but the problem with it is... With, with, with it can such be high stakes like this. Yeah. yeah, like, anything that happens, like, well, we won't know until it finishes now. Like, mm. And another thing we should mention that I don't think a lot of people are going to be expecting is that this film does not fucking end anything. No. This is a huge cliffhanger. Yeah. Mm. We don't know anything. So Avengers 4, we'll, possibly we'll be, Captain Marvel and Ant-Man yeah. Man will, will provide more... Closer. A few things on the, on the ending actually. Um, I think th- it was, in a way, purposefully done as a lackluster kind of thing, as a, as a way to show how powerful Thanos or how powerful the Infinity Gems really are. Like, click your fingers and half the universe die like it's nothing. You know, see that that's the thing. Like, I got mm. I got no problem with the ending they chose mm. with Thanos winning. It's the way they did it. I found it kind of unsatisfying okay. watching it, um, and I think. I can't remember what you just said, but one way you just used, like, summed up perfectly. I can't remember what it was. Uh, not Black Luster, but there was something missing. It was from... weightless, yeah. No, 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 it wasn't. Like, there was an- another word that John used, but... Yeah, I... I can't remember. It's, it's, it's the last ten minutes that if that changed my star rating for me. Okay, well, moving on. Um, another big thing is, of course, the Soul Stone. It's debut MCU appearance. Um, it... If you have a fan theory about what you think or where you think the Soul Stone is, forget about it because it's that's a, no one saw that coming where the Soul Stone was, unless you can tell me otherwise. It's literally just on a planet. I assume it's a planet called like Volmir or something, and um, and you basically uh, you have to kill you have to kill a soul to get the Soul Stone. And someone, I love someone you love. Someone you love. A soul. Yeah, yeah. Someone you love. Um, and I heard. Someone tell me. I'm not sure if it was if it's official, but the Soul Stone is the most powerful of the six. I couldn't say. Not sure, but it definitely seemed. I mean, at least for Thanos, to be the hardest of the six to get. It's like yeah. like you said before. It's like in the in the um, it might have been the North Pole. I'm not sure which one you said, but it's almost like a rinse and repeat. Like he just he goes to one area, he gets the stone, he kills almost kills everyone, then he pisses off, and like the whole place is destroyed. Then he does that, you know, four times to get the other stones. But then when he gets to the Soul Stone, it's a bit different. He's with Gamora, that's Gamora's death. Um, 
he's he's actually saddened that he has to kill Gamora to get the Soul Stone. Mm. And that, it actually, like, it kind so, of made me feel for Yeah, that, that's one thing we were talking about before. Thanos is much more, like, yes, he is definitely evil, mm. but he is much more of a sympathetic character than I was expecting yeah. at all. I didn't expect that he lies. No, Thanos. no. Yeah. He, he would be one of the best flesh out car- uh, villains just well, in any a, superhero well, film almost. They gave him a flashback and they gave him a back, a backstory and everything. Yeah, yeah they gave him really. a good backstory yeah, as well. Like, good. Gamora's backstory as a, you know, as, as she was adopted. Mm. Yeah. Uh, like, it, oh, well, man. that backstory it showed you how ruthless he was. Yeah. yeah. But at the yeah, same time, it shows, how it shows you how compassionate that, that, that small moment where like she goes to fucking turns her head around. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's very gentle with her. Like yeah. when there's such a slaughter is happening in the background, that was effective. And then when he uses and, when he goes to the to nowhere and gets the reality stone off the collector, he um he I mean he, he creates himself as a reality. Just I think I guess just pretty much to see what Gamora would do to him when when the guardians show up, and and she like stabs him and kills him, and then you know he, he turns out that he's actually just a. Um, it's just it's, reality, it's fake, like, yeah. yeah. And then he shows up, and he's he just grabs her, and then like, it's just it's crazy. Like if you know, if I was her father, and she just killed me, I would be pretty upset about it. But he yeah. he seems calm. Actually, you know what? Her death scene actually found a little bit messed up. Actually, I didn't enjoy that at all. Like, what was that? Yeah, that was a bit cut. That, her death in the morning. He throws her off. Mm. I, I I I I think that's why like, the ending for me didn't wasn't too powerful because that moment itself was that really took the emotional away. Mm. And then he, he started crying right before he did yeah. as well. Like it's. Never I don't think that was the crying. most emotional moment re- 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 regarding Gamora, though. I think the moment where Quill actually decided to shoot her and bubbles came out of his gun. I thought that was more emotional than her actual death. Not that it wasn't emotional, mm. but yeah. I, I just thought, like, you know, like. That was huge. Yeah. That was a huge moment. For me, I think it'll be the moment just before death when she thinks that, you know, he, he's lost because he doesn't care about anyone. And the minute she realizes that, that she is the one, mm. and that that the look of realization on her face, that's the bit that I thought was the heaviest bit out of all her stuff. There's a good moment. There's a great moment in the movie as well when um, uh, Thor is talking to um, Rocket. Rocket. And you Thor saying, you know, he's got no one left. And mm. that was a, that was like a really nice. That mm. was a really yeah. nice moment. That had, yeah. And, 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 yeah, and then, and then obviously Rocket yeah. like well, I've got everything to lose. Uh, but that, yeah, obviously, obviously, comic relief has to kick in. You know, no, I mean, just to give Bradley him. Cooper has yeah. to do something. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, but you go. Oh, I was gonna say the thing with Thor. He's, I think he's my second favorite character under Spider Man, hands down. Like, think where he's come from, from Thor. He has grown a lot as a character, and he's great. literally lost everything. Mm. Everything. He's lost his hammer, his his right eye, his dad, his sister, his brother, his planet. His, his whole, people, his friends, family, everyone. He has lost everyone, and he's still pretty much, arguably, the strongest Avenger. Uh, there was that one line when he says that that same that same bit when he said, "I have nothing to lose," and I was going through it, and I was like, "He literally has nothing else to lose except his own life." Mm-hmm. And he's almost indestructible, so it's almost like, yeah, like he pretty much has nothing to lose because he, he pretty much can't lose his own life anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and the end credit scene. What do you think of that? Same yeah, depth. I mean, I was slightly underwhelmed. I mean, yeah, me too. Because we knew Captain Marvel was coming. Uh, so, so in the post credit scene, we see Sam Nick, Jackson, Nick Fury, and, and Maria Hill, and um, it, it's when people start disappearing on Earth or, or being killed on Earth, and um, Maria disappears. That's an, I'm not screwing that up. Her name's Maria, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Maria. Hill. Um, and, and and then Nick Fury starts disappearing. He's like, and he says, "Mother, oh, like, like, that, yeah. that was cool." Um, and he presses the <laughs> presses the button. She's and then it's a distress signal being sent out to someone, and then, to, then Captain Marvel's logo pops up on the screen. But I was expecting something more, because mm. we knew she was coming. Yeah, I was like, expecting a little tease to what Ant-Man and... Mm. We're not uh, exactly sure how Captain Marvel fits in, seeing as... We're pretty sure her movie's set in the 90s. It is set in the 90s, it they is. confirmed that, yeah. So... Ronan's back in it, and... Yeah, so we're not yeah. sure... Does she, yeah, like we were saying, does she I age? Think, does but, she not yeah. age? We don't know anything about Captain Marvel, so we should probably just stop talking about her. But um, Ant Man, I think, is the one that's going to be the key for the whole. Like we were saying, so, he, will so be the key. Yeah. So this brings up another good point. In the movie, we are we're told by um, is it one of the one of the main characters, maybe Tony Stark or maybe Captain America, that um, Ant Man and Hawkeye have gone on like vacation with their families. They want to look after their families, essentially. Um, that's what we're led to believe, anyway. But we have a, a bit of a theory that that's, they're actually on their own secret mission and, and they're going to meddle with time travel. Um, 
Unfortunately, I kind of feel bad that those pictures were leaked from the set of Avengers 4, and we, we actually saw... We saw Scott Lang with them. Yeah, and, and the set, pretty much the set of the first oh, Avengers. Really? I, I, don't, I haven't seen those, I've avoided everything. Um, so, what was it? So, if you don't want to know leaked stuff, just mute us for about 20 seconds, or 30 seconds or whatever. Um, pretty much the, the, there's a set photo where um, it's at the scene of the climax of the Avengers, and um, like Captain America is in his 2012 suit, and um, oh, of the first Avengers. Yes, Tony right. Stark is there. Mark Ruffalo is there in motion capture. So I assume right. he's the Hulk, and Ant Man is there. Right. And they're all they've all got like a what would you say? It's like a time travel. Yeah, like, 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 like a green. green. It looks like it's actually it looks green. like this. It's, it looks like a watch oh, that's, right, that's okay. placed like that on somebody's yeah. hand. And um, so they've obviously gone back in time to the New York incident. Okay. And Ant Man's there. Okay. All right. So, so if I wonder if they're gonna change any of that now that the photos are leaked. Probably not. But the theory, the theory that we have anyway, is that Ant Man's gonna figure out how to go back in time using his subatomic shrinking ability, um, and he's gonna go with Hawkeye and whatever, and they're gonna go back in time. Probably meet up with Captain Marvel. Who knows how it's gonna. She work. has to with the, with this post credits She has to be a yeah, major player. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're gonna they're gonna change something that alters the future. Okay. And then, yeah, well, they confirmed it would be, there would be time travel involved in Avengers 4. Yeah, but the problem I have with that is when Thanos clicks his finger and kills half the universe, his glove and uh, presumably all the stones melt away into nothing. So, how is he a threat for Avengers 4? Mm. That's something I'm worried about. Yeah. I mean, I'll, they'll probably explain it and it'll probably make sense, but. I, I mean, just, if they've got to go back in time before he got the glove. I guess, they, I guess they could just go anywhere. Like, they could go to when Thanos is. Young, just, and just, just kill him. Yeah. That, that, yeah that's See, like, when when, like when when films start messing with time travel, stuff like this becomes messy there because they could yeah. literally go to any other point and save anyone. Mm. Which but, why, yeah, if, if it's they need they need to have a rule in there where it can only go past a certain point. But again, how do you establish that rule? Please, Avengers, four, don't pull a cursed child. That's like, <laughs> don't I'm with ruin you time one. travel. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, while we're just talking about the, the end credits, um, it was interesting to note that it didn't say the Avengers will return. It it's said Thanos will, will return. return. So that's that's the first time. Hold on. Maybe that means that Avengers 4 won't actually be called Avengers. Exactly, that's what I'm meaning. Yeah. That's because, yeah, it's not like, the, it's like the Avengers. It could be like, because like, it won't be called Avengers Infinity War, it would be like Thanos Infinity War. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Russo Brothers did say that the title to Avengers 4 is a spoiler. a spoiler. So that, a spoiler, I assume a spoiler for Avengers Infinity War. Which we expected them to reveal after the end credits there. Which they, well, maybe they Which did. They, maybe Thanos is part of the title. Yeah. Unless the title is just Thanos. <laughs> because Thor is just called Thor. Or like yeah. Iron Man, or Iron Man 2. Unless <laughs> Thanos destroys the Avengers. Thanos, Thanos 2, like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just called Thanos. Could be. We'll find out. I doubt it. That's it. Kind of, kind of I'm, I'm sure underwhelming now. <laughs> since it's not the end of credits, I'm sure Marvel will release it in the near future. Now that Infinity War's out, they'll wait for everyone to have seen it, which is going to be the next couple of days because it's released worldwide in the same week. So I'm sure, surely by like May sometime we'll have a title. I hope. Unless they're waiting for after, if Ant-Man and Captain Marvel that, that, truly do, exactly. in, in, you know, heavily yeah. impact this film. Exactly. Another fun scene for you guys, um, that we thought were fun anyway, when when the Avengers actually meet up with the Guardians and they kind of fight each other a little bit. Well, yeah. it's, it's not really the whole cool. Avengers, it's just... That was my favourite scene of the film. I thought that was so well done. Mm. I, I liked that a lot. And, it, 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 and yeah, it, it was fun. Yeah, it was good. Like, I wish there was more of that, actually. I mean, that was a fair bit. Yeah, you know, talking about the Avengers, I never thought I'd dislike Star-Lord. But there's that one bit, which you can understand where he's coming from because he's driven by... Rage. Uh, basically rage. ruins everything. But literally, they were about to win and he ruins everything at the last I, split second I think the, the, the I think the good thing about this film even though like the ending is a bit like, jarring because it's like okay well we know even though we know it's going to be reversed somehow it just felt so weird like the villain won like the mm. villain won a blockbuster superhero movie We've like never this is it okay. and like and like I think that feeling that we get, we ha that we all had at the end of the film, when the villain won, all these characters when I like, got defeated, they were they were dying and like they disappeared, and then we just see Dennis just sitting there looking content, I guess, just yeah. in it. It's like 
that's what would happen. Like, like that, there's no kind of jokey, happy bit at the end yeah. where we can all go, oh, I feel happy when I leave the cinema now. The villain won. Like, this mm. is what, I think this is what we're meant to be feeling. Yeah. It was, it was, like, a, very, yeah. It was a very still feeling. Yeah, like, it, exactly. like yeah. everyone yeah. was so quiet in the cinema. Yeah. Like, like, there was no... And I, I, think, I think that's why I settled on a 4.5 rather than a 4, because I think while I am not let down, but there's things that didn't quite go the way I would have liked cinematically, that feeling I have, like you said, I think that's what the filmmakers wanted. That I, thing, it, that, that feeling of emptiness at yeah. the end. Like the, the villain one, like the, yeah. the, the villain and one at Avengers film. Yeah, because like, I mean, even the end credits, the, whole, the main credit bit has nothing heroic. It's very subdued. It's somber. And then when the title comes, it's, it's piano, like very subtle. Yeah, and when the um, title comes up, the award, it, it flutters away. Yeah. 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 That was cool. I thought that was Like the Avengers, the Avengers are gone. Yeah, it's yeah. Thanos. Oh, yeah. gosh. Guts. Yeah, yeah no, I, it's, it's definitely 4.5. Two things I'd like, two things I'd actually like to, to talk about quickly. Um, number one, uh, Doctor Strange uses his time stone before it gets stolen from him, and he looks at 14 million possibilities in the future. And yes. there's one that's the... And only one of them, yeah. the Avengers, actually win. Yeah, assuming that, the, you know, the good guys win, and there's the heroic story that, that the, that the Marvel always, always want, um, he must have seen what just happened many, many times. Yeah. I mean, if you saw it 14 million times. Um, and then he actually gives up his time stone. He gives it to Thanos. Which he would not have done. No way. Without not, a plan. not the way he was acting the whole time, saying he has to protect the time stone and all this. But did, did, he, have to, did he have to wait till uh, Iron Man gets well, stabbed? Well, maybe. Or do you think he could have done it before that? I don't think he... Like, no, I reckon... Does he say the line... I, well, I, I don't know if I'm misremembering, but does he say to Tony, this is the only way? Yes. Is, is yeah. So I, I think he knows what needs to happen. I think he sees that Thanos needed the six... I, I, I think if what we're thinking is going to happen with Ant Man yeah. and everything like that, um, yeah, I, I, I think Thanos needed to win in exactly. order for them to go back to win the other things. So but why do you have to why do you have to trick him before that? You know, he tricked him. I think he was just trying. Was, it, was, that, yeah, was that actually the reality? I think he was trying. Was he was probably just yeah. ho- just hoping just to have oh, okay, to be able to win yeah. without them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then once he saw that's not going to work, exactly. I think he realized, okay, well. And that's what he says. He says, Tony, this is the end game. This needs to happen. The other thing is. When Thanos clicks his finger and everyone... It can't, actually, it's weird. He clicks his finger and then he's right in the middle of being killed by Thor. And then he kind of evaporates into like this portal. And then he comes up in this weird area. Who knows what it is? And he sees like a baby Gamora. And then, well, like a toddler Gamora. And, the, and Gamora says to him, um, was it worth... Was it, was it worth it? Or was it worth everything? Or what What did you have to lose to yeah. get here? And, and, and he said everything. Yeah. Like, as if he felt almost regret for doing it. Yeah. Did any of you guys feel like a regret mm. feeling from me at that point? Mm. Like if, mm. Yeah, I think yeah, so. I, I also got... It's hard to say what... It was not really a lot of emotion on Thanos' face at the end there, so it's, hard, it's kind of hard to see what he's seen. Yeah. Like, in, yeah, one hand he seemed regretful, like, what have I done? On the other hand he seemed content, like, mm. yep, yeah, this is what I wanted, like, I have saved, like, in his mind, I have saved come, the He's come that far, you know, yeah. sure he's going to step off. Mm. That's something he, he feels genuine remorse for killing Gamora, because he, he was at the tears, he's crying. Mm. Mm. It's hard to say. Yeah. Until the Thanos movie comes out <laughs> <laughs> next year. When I'm done, half of humanity still exist. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. Alright, Cinephiles, so those are our very broad thoughts on um, the spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. We hope you loved it. We hope that let us know what you thought. Uh, leave your comments down below and hit the subscribe button if you want to check out our reviews for any other films coming up. And uh, also hit the like button as well if you enjoyed everything. Check out our non-spoiler as well. We don't really talk about it in much detail, but it's worth a watch anyway. And thanks, guys. We'll see you at the news. Mike. He's yeah. Oh, he did <laughs> <laughs>